So, are you thinking about welding school? Where should you go? What should you look for in a school? Or do you even need to go to school? Pull up a seat. Today, we're talking about school. I'm going to share with you what I would tell a good friend, which is you, what to look for when looking into a welding school. I'm also going to answer all those other questions you have about welding schools. Whether you go to school or not, staying busy in this industry as a welder takes some hustle. I've linked below my top five hustler mindsets that have helped me get to where I am today. It's a free download, so don't forget to grab it for yourself. As we get started, make sure and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure to ding that bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. If you don't ding the bell, YouTube may not necessarily notify you whenever I upload a new video. A little bit about myself, I've been a pipeline welder for seven years now, give or take, and my training started in a Votech, a, a welding school, in my uh, junior and senior year of high school. And the rest I learned just from working in the field, working on different jobs, fence, structural, shop jobs, out in the field, in the real world. That's where I learned most of what I know today. My stance on welding school is, is neutral. That's mostly because it depends on your, your goals, your personal goals. I do think that you should want to be a welder first, then a pipeline welder. Learning the welding trade in general will give you a career for life. Pipeline welding doesn't require school, but it's also not always consistent. And many people work really hard to get in the pipeline industry and then don't even like the lifestyle. Education and fundamentals aren't always a bad thing, but neither is lots of practice and real world experience. That's why I think you should make an educated, intentional choice for your personal situation. Not just go off of what anybody and everyone tells you because their situation might have been different than the situation that you're in. I'll be honest, school isn't my favorite subject to talk about. And no, it's not just because I was a bad student. I wasn't a terrible student, but it's because of everything that I just mentioned. I'm not interested in giving you bad advice. So Kayla and I just recently visited Kentucky Weld Institute, also known as KWI. I'll link their website and their Instagram below so you can go check them out. It's the first time I saw a program I really liked and could get behind. I'm sure there's other schools that are really good also, but I feel like Kentucky Weld Institute really has it going on. It's actually changed my mind a bit about school and how I can help you with that decision. That's the inspiration for this video. All the footage that you see today will be from our visit there at KWI. All right, we just pulled up. We're right on time. Really like late. Yeah. Um, late to our first day of school. <laughs> We're here about six months for our combo pipe program. Um, that hour is gonna be, uh, we run through the NCCR curriculum. So they get a core uh, car, we get welding one, boiler fitter, uh, we do rigor. We also do NCCCO rigor, that's the crane certification. Okay. Uh, OSHA and ASME just pushed out. Uh, crane operators now have to be nationally certified. So we see the writing on the wall. We assume later they're gonna pair them up with certified riggers, certified signal. So our guys are already beefed up resume wise, uh, trying to do what you're doing, essentially. Our guys are gonna grab So here's what I would look for and consider when looking for a welding school to go to. Classroom to hands-on time. You want to be behind your welding hood more so than, than in a book, right? There at KWI, they talked about starting welding like right away. I think they said they start you out with like an hour of the day classroom, and then the rest of the day is out in the shop or outside welding, you know? So I really, I really liked that aspect. I like the idea of getting your arm in it sooner than later. You definitely need the fundamentals and the classroom time teaches you a lot, but choose a school that actually focuses on the welding part of it, the physical welding part of it. You can't get enough practice, enough hood time. That's what I preach a lot is practice, 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 because I firmly believe practice is, is what's gonna get you there. You know, that's how you constantly learn is by constantly doing something. I learned a little fun fact this week from a guy that I'm actually welding with this week on some fence. He said he heard from a guy that it takes 2,000 times of doing one thing to like 
perfect it. I also don't preach mastering something or perfecting something because I truly believe that there's always, always, always room for improvement. No matter how slick a weather you get, there's always room for improvement. But I liked that fact that he said because it's so true. You know, I know with me, it takes several times of doing something for, for it to really sink in, you know, so you just can't get enough practice. So I really love, love that. The next thing I would consider when looking for a welding school is real world experiences and or environments. Controlled environments are great for learning, but eventually you want to learn from the real world. Whether that's a job that you're working at while you're going to school or at school experiences. It's something I would look for. On the pipeline, you have to weld when it's windy, rainy, when it's over 100 degrees, when it's freezing cold. Pick a school that's going to put you in as many real world, real environment experiences as possible. Tight spaces? Yeah, some welding requires that. How do you do in tight spaces? Can you weld with your non-dominant hand? Some schools might brush over some of these things. In fact, the school, the Votech that I went to, they might have mentioned something about being able to weld with your left hand or we definitely didn't have no simulators or anything to simulate us out in the real world. Luckily for me, I jobbed out my second year and I got a lot of in the field experience as I was going to school before I went to welding school after and everything. So I made it work out, but Look for those types of things in a welding school. Make sure you're getting that experience that's gonna lead to success in the workplace. Another thing to consider is different types of welding. If you're gonna go to a welding school, and especially one that you gotta pay for, make sure you're a welder first and a whatever second. You know, whether it's pipeline welder, boiler maker, tanky, whatever type of welding that, that you wanna specify in, make sure you're a welder first. With that being said, make sure you pick a program that allows you to taste a lot of different types of welding and then allows you to focus on the one that you really like. Real quick, what type of welding interests you the most? Drop it in the comments below and I'll do the same. What about the cost? I've said before that I personally wouldn't go into debt to pay for welding school. However, after visiting KWI and learning what some of the students got out of this school makes me wonder if I would do things differently whenever I was 18. I learned at a tech school during high school and it was free. I simply didn't have the means to scrape up a bunch of money at that time of my life. Debt is not my favorite thing and I definitely don't want to encourage anybody to get into a bunch of debt, but I did learn that lots of them students at KWI took out a loan to go to this school. And frankly, I don't disagree, especially if you know for sure that welding is what you want to do for a living. Education is way better debt than a vehicle payment ever will be. Bet on yourself and do what you're comfortable with. Just know that your future or your success doesn't depend on how much cash you throw at it or what debt you're willing to take on. It's about your work ethic. Check out the five hustler mindsets in the description, learn them, and live by them. The location of the welding school might also be an issue. The right school for you may not be in your backyard. Don't be scared to travel to go to a good welding school. Heck, if you want to be a pipeline welder, travel is going to be the new norm anyway. No better time to try it out than to go to school. Next is certifications. If you are spending time at school, especially if you're paying for it, I would be wanting to get lots of certs. Yeah, certifications may not do you much good as far as pipeline jobs go, but they might do you some good on other jobs on your way to the pipeline. If nothing else, it's just that much more practice when it comes to testing. This is another thing you can do to capitalize on your time at school. Some of the test and the testing can be expensive when it comes to getting different certifications. Go to a school that helps you build your experience and get your certs. Next is job placement. Especially if you're paying for it, pick a place that's got a high student to job placement rate. Whether that be with them helping you with a job, a resume, or having a lot of local relationships. This means you can get to work right out of school. Your dream job may not be your first job, but that's okay, it's normal. Pick a school that's going to encourage and give you the tools for what's next. The real world and an actual job. All right, so a couple of questions that I get quite often are, is there a school that's just for pipeline welding? And do you have to go to school to be a pipeline welder? I've actually talked a little bit about these couple of questions in another video. We'll link it in the description. You can go check that out if you would like. Finally, are you still trying to decide if school is right for you? Consider this. What type of learner do you consider yourself to be? Different people learn better in different ways and in different atmospheres. Take my wife and I, for example. I didn't think I necessarily needed more welding school, but she totally would have needed the welding school. 
she has a hard time starting without knowing the exact right way to do it. Fundamentals and striving for perfection is how she operates. Myself, I'm more of the fail to succeed type. I don't mind messing up a lot and just practicing, practicing over and over and over again. So know yourself and let that be the deciding factor on what's right for you. All right, don't forget about my five hustler mindsets. They're in the description. Grab those on your way out. Some of the most valuable things I can teach you and help you with aren't just about welding and the tools. This is the mind and self-improvement that will take you further. Don't forget to load up your toolbox with more than just physical tools. Drop me a like if you like this video or if you found it helpful. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. What type of welding do you find most interesting? Subscribe before you go. Don't forget to ding that bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday morning. I want to thank KWI for inviting Kayla and I behind the scenes. We had such a good time visiting with the students and we hope to be back one day. Again, I'll have their links in the description below if you want to learn more about them. My advice for this week is love your hustle. Love whatever it is that you're doing. This way you'll enjoy it. You won't wake up every day dreading your drive to work. That's gonna be it for this video. Remember, learn something every day and we will see you next Friday.